Millions of years ago, the Earth looked very different. A huge landmass called Pangaea covered about a third of our planet. But about 175 million years ago, the Earth broke up into continents and formed the world we know today. What if that had never happened? Where would your country be located? And how different would your life be? This is what if, and here's what would happen if Pangaea had never broken apart. If Pangaea existed today, in theory, you could drive from California to England, since they'd both be part of the same landmass. And although you may only think of Pangaea as just another piece of land, it would be much more than that. It's played an integral part in human and animal evolution. If Pangaea had not broken apart, you may not be here today. But let's assume it didn't, and that we survived and evolved to be the people we are today. What would the Earth be like? First, let's talk about where your country would be located. North America would be right here. Europe would be a lot closer just to the east. Asia would be up north by Russia and Antarctica would remain down south. India and Australia would be further south connected to Antarctica. These countries that used to have hot climates would now be cold, covered with snow and ice. And those wouldn't be the only environmental changes. Regions in the middle of Pangaea would have lush rainforests along their borders. And as you travel further inland, it would become a desert. This would be due to Pangaea's landmass being so large. Rain, which comes from the ocean, wouldn't be able to travel far enough inland, leaving parts of Pangaea practically uninhabitable by humans and other species. And weather up north would be different too, with Russia being much warmer than it is today. But the weather wouldn't be the only thing that would change. On Pangaea, we might have less diversity of species. The species at the top of the food chain today would most likely remain there, but some of today's animals would not exist in Pangaea. They wouldn't have the chance to evolve. Fewer animals might make it easier to travel, and on this modern version of Pangaea, you'd probably want to do a lot of it. Luckily, you wouldn't have to go far. If you lived in Florida, you'd be right next to the Caribbean islands, Venezuela, and Brazil. You could visit all of these in a single day. And if you lived in Nova Scotia, Canada, you'd be driving distance from France, England, and Germany. Although this might sound like fun, a lot of countries would have new neighbors, which could cause some serious issues for some. Places like the United States, which used to have oceans on both sides of the country, would now have Africa on its east coast. If these countries didn't get along, things could get ugly. How much easier would it be to start a war in another country if they were just a short drive away? Transporting weapons, people and supplies would all be faster and cheaper if certain countries were right next to each other. Or none of this would happen and the entire world would be more unified than ever. With all of us sharing the same landmass, maybe we'd learn to treat each other just a bit better than what we do now. Maybe if we all lived in one country, something like this would happen. But we'll leave that story for another what if.